an ancient landscape holding secrets of a changing climate. Paleontologists have been coming to these prehistoric fossil beds northeast of Alice Springs for four decades, uncovering a treasure chest of bones belonging to long extinct giant land animals. This site is witnessing the birth of the Red Centre. For the first time, paleontologists have uncovered an articulated leg of a large flightless bird, the Ilbandornis woodbani, meaning they can now tell the difference between two species of the prehistoric bird already in the museum's collection. Now we've got um, concrete proof because we've got a single individual, so all the bones we know belong to that particular species. The Alcuda fossil beds are relatively young, at 8 million years old. And it's the only place in Australia which gives a detailed picture of how land animals once lived. We have uh, registered in our collections 10,000 different bones that we've dug up from this site. For three decades, volunteers have been coming to these beds, hoping to dust off a rare discovery. I love the place. It's something spiritual for me. It's hard to believe that this arid desert landscape was once wet and humid and home to giant flightless birds and wombat-like creatures. Despite decades of digging here at the Alcuda fossil beds here in Central Australia, some of the mysteries remain unsolved and undiscovered. We're digging up pieces of the past in order to inform the future. Mysteries of the distant past still to be discovered. Emma Haskin, ABC News, Alcuda Scientific Reserve.